The Attorney General, the most senior legal officer in the land, accused of Parliament's most serious offence. Senator George Brandis has lied to the Australian Parliament. Based, he says, on George Brandis' answer when asked if he'd consulted Solicitor General Justin Gleeson about changing how ministerial requests for legal advice are handled. The statement said that the Attorney General has consulted the Solicitor General. Does the Attorney General stand by this assurance? The Attorney General, Senator Brandis. Yes, I do. Labor claims the first and second law officers are at complete odds. The issue was discussed. At length, he says, at a meeting in November and seemingly confirmed in these notes taken by two officials and submitted to a Senate inquiry. Mr Gleeson was consulted. Labor points to Justin Gleeson's own submission in which he said, I do not accept that the direction was a subject of prior consultation with me. Obviously there is a difference in interpretation between him and me as to the effect of the meeting. This is a dispute about very little. Labor says they can't both be right as the shadow Attorney General demanded a ministerial scalp. We have Senator George Brandis now lying about lying. If he won't resign, he should be sacked by Mr Turnbull. George Brandis says all procedures were followed and ticked off by the department, and despite clear differences in what was discussed and decided, says he can work with the Solicitor General. Lane Kelcutt, Nine News.